Hello students, welcome to our virtual music room. Our lesson focus for today is the history of African American music part two. We will be highlighting musicians, singers, and performing artists who attributed cultural contributions to American music. The purpose of this lesson is to introduce students to the history of African American music and to help students gain the awareness of the cultural contributions made by African Americans in America. Our objectives for today are Number one, I can name and identify three African American singers, performing artists, or musicians. Number two, I can name and describe hip hop, rap, rhythm and blues, soul musical forms of African American music. And number three, I can discuss how African American social dances have influenced American culture. Our South Carolina College and Career Ready Standards are Anchor Standard 6 I Can Analyze Music Anchor Standard 8 I Can Examine Music from a Variety of Stylistic and Historical Periods and Cultures and Anchor Standard 9 I Can Relate Music to Personal Meaning other arts disciplines, other subjects, and career paths. Our artistic processes are responding and connecting. So, let's get started. When did hip hop and rap music start? How have African American social dances influenced American history? Who are some of the African American music artists that have impacted the music industry and American culture from 1970 to the present? Boys and girls, the answers to these essential questions will be explored today in our lesson on the history of African American music part two. African American social dances started as a way for enslaved Africans to keep cultural traditions alive and retain a sense of inner freedom. We exist and we are free. They remain an affirmation of identity and independence today. African American social dances are developed within black communities in everyday spaces rather than in studios, schools, or companies. Some popular social dances are the bop, cabbage patch, doogie, twist, running man, Nay Nay and The Whip. Boys and girls, to get a better understanding of some influential African American social dances, let's watch the enclosed video of the history of African American social dances. Here we go! The Bop. The Bop is a type of social dance. Dance is a language, and social dance is an expression that emerges from a community. A social dance isn't choreographed by any one person. It can't be traced to any one moment. Each dance has steps that everyone can agree on, but it's about the individual and their creative identity. Because of that, social dances bubble up, they change, and they spread like wildfire. They are as old as our remembered history. 
In African American social dances, we see over 200 years of how African and African American traditions influenced our history. The present always contains the past, and the past shapes who we are and who we will be. The Juba dance was born from enslaved Africans' experience on the plantation. Brought to the Americas stripped of a common spoken language, this dance was a way for enslaved Africans to remember where they're from. It may have looked something like this. slapping thighs, shuffling feet, and patting hands. This was how they got around the slave owner's ban on drumming. Improvising complex rhythms, just like ancestors did with drums in Haiti or in the Yoruba communities of West Africa. It was about keeping cultural traditions alive and retaining a sense of inner freedom under captivity. It was the same subversive spirit that created this dance, the cakewalk, a dance that parodied the mannerisms of Southern high society, a way for the enslaved to throw shade at the masters. The crazy thing about this dance is that the cakewalk was performed for the masters who never suspected they were being made fun of. Now you might recognize this one, 1920s, the Charleston. The Charleston was all about improvisation and musicality, making its way into Lindy Hop, swing dancing, and even the kin and play, originally called the Funky Charleston. Started by a tight-knit black community near Charleston, South Carolina, the Charleston permeated dance halls where young women suddenly had the freedom to kick their heels and move their legs. Now, social dance is about community and connection. If you knew the steps, it meant you belonged to a group. But what if it becomes a worldwide craze? Enter the twist. It's no surprise that the twist can be traced back to the 19th century, brought to America from the Congo during slavery. But in the late 50s, right before the Civil Rights Movement, the twist is popularized by Chubby Checker and Dick Clark. Suddenly, everybody's doing the twist white teenagers, kids in Latin America, making its way into songs and movies. Through social dance, the boundaries between groups become blurred. The story continues in the 1980s and 90s. Along with the emergence of hip hop, African American social dance took on even more visibility, borrowing from its long past, shaping culture and being shaped by it. Today, these dances continue to evolve, grow, and spread. Why do we dance? To move, to let loose, to express. Why do we dance together? To heal, to remember, to say, we speak a common language. We exist and we are free. was an awesome video, boys and girls. Hip hop, as both a musical genre and a culture, was formed during the 1970s when block parties became increasingly popular in New York City, particularly among African American youth residing in the Bronx. Hip hop's early evolution occurred as sampling technology and drum machines became widely available and affordable. Rapping is often associated with and a primary ingredient of hip-hop music. Rap is more about poetry of words and word styles and hip-hop is more about the music and the beats. Our next video is about the history of hip-hop and rap 
and its effects on music today. Are you ready? Here we go! Yes, yes, y'all, and it don't stop, and it won't stop, and it can't stop. <laughs> Let's go back to 73 to a birthday party in the Bronx, New York City. The address, 1520 Cedric Avenue. The DJ selected the records, Clive Campbell. The birthday girl's brother, now known as DJ Cool, hurt the founding father of hip hop. This is how we put it work. 1955, born and raised in Kingston, Jamaican. 67, Clive immigrated with his family to the Bronx, New York City, where hip hop begins. Herc started selecting the records of parties to spin. Between the times his dad's band played while he was a teenager, Herc imitated the style of Jamaican selectors. Posting all the tracks, letting party people know what's up. But it's important to hip hop is not singing or rap. Herc noticed how crowds would react to drum breaks of a track, dancing where the music's vocals and instruments stopped at. Herc decided to use two turntables, tools that are able to bring the drum beats He's back. back. Herc switched back and forth between two copies of the same track, extending the break so crowds have more time to dance or react. The history of hip hop and rap, it didn't start with the beef, it started with the scratch. The history of hip hop and rap, real MCs tell it clear, no mumble on the track. The history of hip hop and rap, no trap in the game, but go with the bone back. History of hip hop and rap, thinking back to the days. Cool work on the track. I put notable people on the spot, like the mother of hip hop who organized parties on the lot. Cindy Campbell, the birthday girl, Herc's younger sister. She made history as the first ever hip hop promoter. She also helped Herc handle up on the breaks, getting the records together for them to loop and play. Another pioneer of the style is Joseph Sadler, born in 58 in Barbados, later moved to the same area as Herc and Cindy in the Bronx, New York City. Attending DJ parties is how he got his start. He began experimenting with turntable mixing, and later on, he perfected the art known as scratching. This is when a DJ uses the hands to rewind the track to make a percussive sound as the beat plays back. So fast with the tracks, he was called Grandmaster Fast, but unable to get into discos, he took another path. The history of hip hop and rap, it didn't start with the beef, it started with the scratch. The history of hip hop and rap, human MCs tell it clear, no mumble on the track. The history of hip hop and rap, no trap in the game, working with the bone back. The history of hip hop and rap, take it back to the days, where that's the flash on the track. Disco clubs were adults only, and they were not the flash to his friends, so they had house parties on the block. This is how Grandmaster Flash put in work, constantly improving his craft, but kept it down to earth. Out on the streets, making beats for kids that were so poor they couldn't afford the ore. Now in 77, Flash worked with Curtis Blow, his first ever rap collaborator. But it wasn't until he worked with a rap group of five that he made history, his career coming alive. Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five pioneered a new sound that was all their own vibe. Turntables and records became instruments, and the DJ and rapping MCs became a union. In 79, they made the first album. The rest is history while hip hop still happens. The history of hip hop and rap, it didn't start with the beef, it started with the scratch. The history of hip hop and rap, the MCs tell it clear, no mumble on the track. The history of hip hop and rap, no trap in the game, but can wish the bone back. History of hip hop and rap, take it back to the days, fashion perk on the track. The history of hip hop and rap, it didn't start with the beef, it started with the scratch. The history of hip hop and rap, yeah. That was an inspiring video on the history of African American hip hop and rap music. Our final video is a culminating history of African American contributions in music, art, sports, literature, science, math, politics, and acting on American culture. Here we go! It's that time again. Let us all join in. We are celebrating black people who change the world. It's that time again. Let us all join in. We are celebrating black people who change the world. All right, let's learn and celebrate. Black musicians are the reasons for great music we listen to, like hip hop and jazz, the blues, rap, R and B. So take time, explore, so you're not missing out on great music throughout history. 
Whitney Houston, now she could sing. Stevie Wonder's blind and his music is king. Prince played 27 instruments. There's so many incredible black musicians. So make sure you go and listen. It's that time of Why the next list of people have great acclaim. I'm gonna take a second to recognize the names of some black minds that went ahead and changed the game. Mae Jemison made space her quest. Meghan Markle is a royal philanthropist. When you lose your way and need that GPS, go ahead and thank Dr. Gladys West. Then there's those who make magic with words. Maya Angelou is an uncaged bird. Her poetry is our great fortune. Paving paths for poets like Amanda Gorman. Go ahead, Miss Amanda Gorman. It's that time again. Let us all join in. We are celebrating black people who change the world. It's that time again. Let us all join in. We are celebrating black people who change the world. Black athletes are super strong. For years, they've been breaking records all day long. Ha, there's so many now and in the past. Like Jesse Owens, who he ran so fast. Stephen Curry hits that three-point shot. Ballerina Missy Copeland dances on her toes a lot. Serena Williams plays tennis so bold. Simone Biles flips and wins all the gold. Ooh, let's move to the scene where black people shine like stars on screen. Of talk shows and more, she's queen. So take a bow to Oprah Winfrey. Michael B. Jordan, Denzel, and Shonda Rhimes are just a few who make all media shine. Celebrate black actors, that's the answer. A child like Thief, the first black panther. Wakanda forever. It's that time again. Let us all join in. We are celebrating black people who change the world. It's that time again. Let us all join in. We are celebrating black people who change the world. Black freedom fighters took a stand to live in an equal and loving land. They worked so hard just to break through. So sit back and listen as I name a few. Martin L.K. Jr. had a dream to unify. Ruby Bridges at six told segregation goodbye. Rosa Parks took a stand by taking a seat. Stacey Abrams votes for equality. Kamala Harris, the first to ascend to a role where women have been absent. Miss Harris knows how to represent by becoming the first black Asian vice president. <laughs> woo come on. The next man is the most Americana. He's super duper smart and he's smooth like a samba. The first black president, Barack Obama. Obama. was an inspiring video boys and girls on black people who changed the world. Here's your assignment for today. I want you to write in your music journal the names of three African American musical artists that were featured in our lesson today. Here's your assignment again. 
I want you to write in your music journal the names of three African American musical artists that were featured in our lesson today. That's your assignment. Boys and girls, I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Here's a summary of today's lesson. I want you to remember that African American social dances started as a way for enslaved Africans to keep cultural traditions alive and retain a sense of inner freedom. African American social dances are developed within black communities in everyday spaces rather than in studios, schools, or companies. Some popular social dances are the bop, cabbage patch, doogie, the twist, running man, nay nay, and the whip. I also want you to remember that hip hop as both a musical genre and a culture was formed during the 1970s when block parties became increasingly popular in New York City particularly among African American youth residing in the Bronx. Rapping is often associated with and a primary ingredient of hip hop music. Rap is more about the poetry of words and word styles and hip hop is more about the music and the beats. Boys and girls, I hope you have gained some knowledge and the awareness of cultural contributions made by African Americans in America. Boys and girls, please continue to strive to make music a part of your everyday life. As your music teacher, it is my duty and job to develop, foster, and implement a curriculum that will aid in discovering the gifts and talents in every student and prepare all of my students for middle and high school music courses, vocal and instrumental ensembles, and other arts clubs and organizations. Boys and girls, enhancing your music literacy and music appreciation is essential in all of you becoming lifelong learners, creators, consumers, and advocates of music. For more musical fun, you can visit my virtual music classroom at www.gwensmithmusicroom.com. You can enjoy singing and watching the Song of the Month videos, visit the Digital Music Library, Instrument Room, Game Room, and more. See you there! Boys and girls, it's also essential that you continue to soar and fly high and be a superstar and shine for success every day. Boys and girls, I want you to have a great week and I will see you on next week. I'm so glad we had this time together just to have a laugh or sing a song. Seems we just get started and before you know it comes the time we have to say so long so long farewell i needn't say goodbye the time has come for you to say goodbye
see you next time.